What's up gamers, Dreamcast Guy here and it's Top 10 Thursday. Did you know that this month marks the three year anniversary of the release of the Wii U? This is actually one of my favorite consoles, it's just so unique. So to celebrate this week, I'm counting down my picks of the Top 10 Must Play Wii U Games. Number 10, The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD. Link is one of the most iconic characters in all of gaming, and for good reason. Every game in the Zelda series is such a fantastic adventure, but there's always been one that's a little bit different from the rest. In Wind Waker, the land of Hyrule has been flooded, and now you need to team up with a talking boat to set sail on the seas and defeat Ganon. Using your sword to slay enemies in this cel-shaded world makes it almost look like you're inside of a living painting. This is one title that blows everything else out of the water. Number 9. The Wonderful 101 Giant aliens are invading the planet, and it's up to us to save it. Bad guys of this size can't be fought alone, so the 101 are using their special powers to combine into the ultimate fighting force. When I say combine, I really mean it. Instead of just using one trusty weapon to combat evil, your whole army can transform into crazy oversized tools of destruction. Just look at this scene here. I'm using a sword made of stacked up people to chop up enemies on a burning bus driving down the highway. Silly action of this caliber is truly fitting of the title, Wonderful. Number 8. Pikmin 3 these happy little creatures are called Pikmin. After crash landing your spaceship on a far off planet, you're gonna need to recruit these little guys to rebuild your vehicle and find food to survive. Lucky for us, the Pikmin are really good at following orders, and they're also the most adorable army ever. Using your Wii U gamepad, you can command them to attack, gather plants, or even harvest more Pikmin. You're dropped into a map and have 20 minutes to build up your cute murderous minions, find the objective, and escape before before you die. Trying to hurry and solve puzzles or fighting against big bosses is even more thrilling when you know that time is running out. It becomes a competition, both against the clock and also with the cute, hostile environment. Number 7. Mario Kart 8 when it comes to party games, few series are better than Mario Kart. Sitting down on the couch with friends to race across 32 tracks and screaming when you get hit by a blue shell, it's timeless fun. This game does exactly what a sequel should do. It adds tons more content to a game you already love. More weapons like the all new Boomerang, new carts for your favorite racers to drive in, and even more dazzling graphics to make the world look better than ever. To top it all off, the online multiplayer makes it where you can instantly be going head to head against some of the best racers in the world. Honestly, drifting through tight turns has never been so awesome. Number 6. Super Mario 3D World How do you innovate a classic game like Super Mario? Simple, add in crazy power-ups, fresh Goombas to stomp on, and huge levels to get lost in. You can still throw around fireballs or become a magical flying raccoon, but now you also have the additional option to put on a cat suit and scale walls with your claws. Perhaps my favorite thing about this game is the silly multiplayer. You get to choose between Mario, Luigi, Peach, and Toad, and they each play slightly different to give you a competitive edge. The person who gathers the most coins at a level earns a crown that they get to wear during the next stage. This fancy hat doesn't really do anything, except give you ultimate bragging rights. Number 5. Hyrule Warriors In probably the most bizarre merger of ideas ever, this game combines the gameplay of Dynasty Warriors with the valiant heroes of the Zelda universe. All the villains from throughout time have joined forces to try and wipe Hyrule out once and for all. Link won't be able to stop them by himself though, so for this quest he's able to pull all the heroes from all the different eras into one epic war. Battlefields are littered with hundreds of soldiers, crammed tight together trying to get a piece of the action. Mixed in with these swarms of monsters are big bosses that can only be defeated by attacking special weak points for massive damage. There's a strange yet awesome harmony between the small battles and large foes all happening side by side. It creates an exciting experience that you won't soon forget. 
Number 4. Super Smash Bros. Wii U The original Smash Bros. debuted on the Nintendo 64 in 1999, and the 16 years since its launch, it's gained millions of hardcore fans. The concept behind this game is simple. Everyone fights in a floating arena, with the objective to throw off everybody else and be the last man standing. Instead of having your typical life bars, you have a damage percentile meter. The higher your damage number, the farther you fly, thus making it easier to send you off the side of the map. With this system, it makes it where every match is a small civil war. You want to take people out, but you also need to guard yourself. If you're too high of a number, anybody can take you out with a single hit. To make things even more interesting, there's 50 playable characters, each one with a totally one-of-a-kind fighting style. Much of the thrill of this game comes from the insane combination of brawlers. With 8 players all going crazy on one map, the action is relentless. Number 3. Splatoon Of all the surprise hits of the year, nothing caught gamers more off guard than Splatoon. Two squads of squid are vying for control of a level, but instead of firing bullets, you're armed with ink sprayers. The team that's able to cover more of the world in shiny neon goo wins. Your paint isn't infinite though. To replenish it, you need to swim in your team's ink like a river. By shifting into a squid, you can move twice as fast and follow any path that's been created by your team's ink. It's even possible to use this swimming ability to travel straight up walls and get onto higher platforms. This is where the subtle complexity comes in. Hunting down enemy players may stop them from painting for a minute, but the more important matter is darting around the area to lay down as much ink as possible. It becomes a struggle between when you should paint, when you should run, and when you should kill. Splatoon brilliantly walks the thin line between brutal online shooter and classic Nintendo charm. Number 2. Bayonetta 2 Imagine the most ridiculous, over-the-top action movie of all time. Multiply that by 50 and you might be close to the lunacy of Bayonetta. The opening scene starts with our witchy main character fighting off a fleet of angels. One moment she's doing the splits on the top of a fighter jet, and the next moment she's smacking around a rogue demon while running up the side of a skyscraper. Magic hair and powerful kicks go a long way to saving the universe, but there's more here than meets the eye. This is a game that's all about mastering the combat system. If you activate your dodge ability at the exact moment someone tries to attack you, everything slows down for a few seconds. During this window is your chance to land a flurry of quick blows that can end a fight and thus save your life. The digital denizens of hell hunt you at every turn, and these baddies are as spectacular to look at as they are difficult to defeat. Bayonetta is a game that's built on long combos, cheesy story, and all-out chaos. Number 1. Super Mario Maker Explaining why this game is so perfect is nearly impossible. It's like Nintendo has given us the keys to the kingdom and unlocked all the secrets of the Mario Clubhouse. Mario Maker is both a tool set for making your own games and also a way to basically get to play an infinite amount of Mario levels. Using the Wii U gamepad, you can easily build levels with pieces from every 2D Mario title. For example, here I am playing an underground level from the 8-bit Mario era, but I have the Bowser head from Super Mario World. Even if you don't want to make levels of your own, there's so much to see and do that at times it can be overwhelming, and that's really actually part of its appeal. Every time you pick up the controller, you're essentially diving into an all-new game, and for that reason, it wins my pick as the absolute must-play Wii U game. Did your favorite game not make the list? Got an idea for a future top 10? Leave it in the comments down below. I wanted to thank you guys for all the love and support with this experimental trilogy of videos. In case you missed it, here's my picks of the must-play PS4 games and my picks of the top 10 must-play Xbox One games. People really seem to have liked this series and have been begging me to do more, so I want to confirm I do plan on doing more of these about other consoles I love in the future, so stay tuned for that. Give this video a like, leave me a comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. But do me the biggest favor of all and keep dreaming.